Yeah, what if Legacy reunited in WWE? I used, to, I, used to, I used to love wrestling back then, bro. I grew out of that. Cody Rhodes has just lost the WWE Championship. Damn. His six-month reign is over, and he's devastated. But he's back on the next episode of Raw, and he's keen to get it back on track. He's oh, shit. Sure. I heard, like, this channel, they got some good WWE storylines, though. What I heard. Well, I, I seen one. It was when, um, when he made the, uh, he made up a match between Cody Rhodes Roman Reigns and CM Punk. That shit was lit. I was like, yeah, I gotta react to his shit next time on stream. Here we are now. Shout out to uh, what's his name? I don't even know his name. Shout out to Murphs. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, I ended one historic reign, and I had a historic run of my own. But there is one piece of the puzzle, one championship that will truly define my legacy. But before he can go on, we hear the music of Gonta. He and like he, he comes out he like he and he says, that I know you're talking about me, Cody. I know you're talking about the historic reign I've had as Intercontinental Champion. And Cody says, I've held that championship twice. The one I'm talking about is the United States Championship that's held by Austin Theory. But my buddy actually is interested in yours. Oh shit, who that? Cody Rose Hill turn? Cody Rose Hill turn? Oh, I remember that fish move. That's called a Dream Street. Gunter is down and standing over him and revealing his face is Dream Ted DiBiase Jr. And DiBiase Ted DiBiase should come back. Not I heard WWE, I heard wrestling like got more, got lit. It got more lit. Sh should, I, should I go back to watching wrestling, y'all? Should I? I don't know. He says. I'm going to restore the true legacy of the Intercontinental Championship. I'll be seeing you again real soon, my friend. Then from behind, here comes Theory, the US Champion, and he manages Shit. to get on top of Cody. But Dimitri is there to step in. Dream Street. Cody looks at Ted and says, Ha! Look at this image. It's priceless. And later in the week on SmackDown, it's announced that Rhodes and DiBiase will be facing Imperium, Vinci and Kaiser, in tag team action. <laughs> they want revenge after the attack on their leader. It's a real throwback for Rhodes and DiBiase, who of course are former tag team champions. And as the match wears on though, Theory and Gunther take their opportunity. The match never mattered. It was just for Theory and Gunther to get them where they wanted them. Gunther nails DiBiase with a giant lariat and he knocks him clean out. And over the other side of the room, Theory bro, is able I to I don't know who Gunter is. That's how bad it is. I, I, I see much I tuned out of wrestling. I heard a Theory. Cody in though. position and drive him through the announce tape. And Theory looks down at Rhodes and says, Now that's priceless. And on the other side, Gunter says to DiBiase, Anywhere, anytime. You name it, we'll do it. Both matches are official for a huge special event taking place in London, Insurrection. And the road to the matches is combustible. The four go back and forth with attacks all over the arenas, Damn. all over the country. Just going no back and one forth the is willing to relent at all. No one is stepping back. Damn. But in London, something's got to give. Crossroads and concrete is crazy. And it does. And it begins with the first contest. Gunther versus DiBiase. And the match is incredibly hard hitting and largely even. And Imperium is standing at ringside to make sure this is a fair fight. Until we see another masked figure start dropping Imperium at ringside with a sledgehammer to the back. Both girl. members of Imperium are down and the masked figure is- That's a girl, she got titties. Now standing on the apron. Gunther approaches, they're face to face, but DiBiase recovers and he locks in the million dollar dream and Gunther fades away. It's unbelievable. Damn. He fades to the point where he's unconscious and the referee is forced to call for the bell. Ted DiBiase Jr. has dethroned the giant Austrian. The masked figure walks off and DiBiase celebrates and one half of the prophecy is fulfilled. And in between matches, we find out that Vinci and Kaiser have been taken to hospital to assess their injury. And the cameras rush in after hearing Damn, some commotion. Like and shit. we see Gunther dead. Damn, he fucking leaking, y'all. That nigga is leaking. Oh, shit.
down and bloody. Let's catch up. Cameron Twitch, let's catch up. Let's catch up. I was playing. Let's catch up. Catches another masked figure standing behind the door. They take off down the corridor and Gonther is left bloody and battered. But the show must go on. It's time for the next match. And it's, of course, Rhodes versus Theory for the United States title. And just like the previous one, it's as hard hit and piece. extremely even. But this time, unlike Gonther, Theory is on his own. No one at ringside to even attempt to stop the inevitable appearance from the masked figure again. But Theory has learned from watching earlier. Even though he's aware that they're standing on the apron, he keeps the pressure on Cody. And the referee goes over to tell this person to get off the apron. She got but titties, while the referee bro. is distracted, another masked figure appears in the ring. But this Damn. time, it's a little more obvious who it is. A very famous and infamous move to Theory. He's out cold. The referee saw nothing. The Viper slides out of the ring, now unmasked. Randy Orton poses to the crowd, <laughs> and Cody Rhodes finishes Theory off with a crossroads. And he is now a Grand Slam champion in WWE. The trio is now complete, and with two championships, yeah. their legacy has grown even more. But who is the fourth person who still remains under the mask? That gotta be, um... That gotta be, uh... I don't know. I don't know. Hey, that could have skipped. And the fuck. celebration continues in the hotel bar Where's after the eight? show. With all three members of Legacy now reunited, Orton's reflecting. And he says, This is exactly how it used to be, huh, boys? Only this time, I'm not the one taking all the glory. I was pretty selfish back then, but I was young, I was hungry, and I know you guys get it now, but I feel like I've mellowed, and I want you guys to take the reins on this one. I think Randy Orton was the group leader. <laughs> Them two was his bitches. Ah! Besides, my back ain't really what it used to be, let's face it. And Rhodes says, oh, yeah, I, think getting I hear old. that. Look, I think we've all been through it over the years, but it comes back to one thing. It comes back What'd to legacy. Say? And that's yeah, what we're that. what it used to be, let's face it. And Rhodes says, oh, I hear that. Look, I think we've all been through it over the years, but it comes back to one thing. It comes back to legacy, and that's what we're doing. We're restoring the legacy of these titles. We're restoring legacy. the legacy of WWE. Legacy. We're making sure this sport is in the right hands. And it all starts that does, like, by take reinstating the, the old Intercontinental Championship and the old United States Championship. Back to the aesthetic that we came up with. And Ted says, and what about the newest member? And Cody says, <laughs> yes, the newest member. They make us stronger than ever. But I think oh, the, the new member could be his wife. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I forgot Cody got a girlfriend, huh? <laughs> this one close to our chest for a while. And both DBRC and Orton agree. But it's then we see Matt Riddle walking through the hotel oh, lobby. No, and he says, Yo. no, don't tell me they're going to jump this man. No, please don't jump Riddle. Don't jump Riddle. <laughs> ah, don't jump Riddle, please. Oh, Randy. You didn't tell me you were back, bro. It's awesome to see you. I tried calling you like every week, but you didn't answer. It doesn't matter. How are you, bro? And DBRC says, get the hell out of here, Riddle. Randy's been busy. He doesn't have time for your garbage. And Orton cuts him off and says, Ted, relax, relax. Riddle, it's okay. Listen, sorry, Matt. I've been busy, you know, rehab, family, the whole thing. And Riddle says, for sure, bro. No problem. Well, I mean, it looks like you've got some free time now. Maybe you want to go get a bite to eat? We could hit a bong. I've got my bongos upstairs. And Randy says, ah, right now's not a good time, honestly. I'll catch up with you next time. And Riddle understands. He says, oh yeah, for sure, bro. Well, you got my number. Hit me up. And Riddle walks off. Norton walks back to the bar and says quietly, do what you have to do, Ted. Oh, no. Riddle's a good man. Damn. Charge that motherfucker. Just watch it. Is, is this WWE 2K? Yeah. Damn shame. 
and we're now on the road to a new Speaking of that, I ain't gonna lie. SmackDown vs. Raw was is better than the SmackDown vs. Raw series better than the 2K series. Thought it was GTA. <laughs> nah, it's not GTA. But yeah, as I was saying, this is the the SmackDown vs. Raw series is better than the 2K series, like the WWE 2K series, not NBA 2K WWE. But the last good wrestling game was 2011 SmackDown vs. Raw. Like that was the last good one. Turn premium live event. Bad yes, luck. Bro. But Same. the world wants answers. And in an exclusive interview with Michael Cole, Randy Orton gives them. He says everybody wants to know why I just stood there and let Ted annihilate Matt Riddle. Two thousand was the best one. Yeah, two thousand wait, was that best one? I think I went that far. I think the earliest one I played was two thousand eight. That was the other one. I didn't play 2006 or 7. I think they had 2005 too, did they? I don't know. Well, it's pretty straightforward, Michael. It's all about legacy. It's all about preserving the dignity of professional wrestling. You see, we all come from a long line of generational talent, a rich history, and we're in the business of keeping that rich history alive. We might be older, but we're also wiser. And why would we want the legacy of this sport tarnished by tomfoolery of someone like Matt Riddle? Yeah, we were friends. Yeah, occasionally I joined in on the fun, but I saw the error of my ways after a phone call with Cody and Ted that changed my perspective. Look around on these walls. Do you see me on? Don't let that. Don't let. Don't let anyone change y'all, man. Don't let anyone change y'all. Don't. These walls? No. And it's because people like Riddle hold me back. So whether it's Riddle, Gonther, Imperium, even Theory, they aren't worthy of carrying on the legacy of WWE. That spot is reserved for us. And as Orton begins to walk off, Cole stops him and says, Randy, if, if I may, just one final question. Will we ever find out just who that masked figure was? And Orton laughs, he says, <laughs> Oh, I'm counting on it. <laughs> Oh, and shit. the next week we get medical updates on the victims of Legacy. Gunther has a serious concussion and is out for the foreseeable future. Damn. Kaiser and Vinci avoided major injuries. They only have bruising and they're cleared to fight. And that's exactly what they want to do. They immediately make a challenge for bad blood. They want Rhodes and DBRC in a Tornado Extreme Rules match. Oh, they want to repay the favor after the assault from the masked figure. And Riddle yeah. is cleared for action, but he is banged up. But the assaults don't end there. Orton, DBRC and Rhodes ruin the entire show because they interrupt matches that they feel aren't enhancing the legacy of wrestling. And as the dust... <laughs> I forgot about Shinsuke Nakamura. God damn. Settles legacy are all in the ring. And Riddle makes a plea to Randy Orton one more time. He says, Randy, please. We were bros. We were tight. If anything, surely you don't want your legacy to be this. Riddle then looks to his side. He sees the masked figure standing there with a sledgehammer again. And Riddle, already being super banged up, decides to leave. But he's incredibly disappointed. Smart move, smart move. And on the eve of bad blood, Cody and DiBiase are smugly telling the whole WWE Universe that they're going to restore some dignity to pro wrestling. And they're going to do it by holding open challenges for both Damn, of their championships back to back. And Ted is up first. It's a W Hill turn. Shinsuke Nakamura takes the first match, and it's a competitive battle. Both men push each other to the limit, but what is fast becoming the typical legacy way, they do the dishonorable thing. DiBiase has his feet up on the ropes, the referee doesn't see That's it, and DiBiase <laughs> retains the Intercontinental. I remember niggas used to win matches like that. Championship. Right after the match, Nakamura is thrown to the wolves because Orton runs out from the back and lines him up. He's thinking a punt on Nakamura. Oh, I forgot about the punt kick. That shit was wild. That would have a grown ass man crying, bro. But before he can hit it, Riddle's music hits, and Riddle runs out. And Orton oh. meets him halfway, but Riddle nails him with a pro Derek. Oh. DBRC wants to try and help, but Vinci and Kaiser come from nowhere, and they wipe him out. Oh. Riddle stands over Orton, and he says, I'll deal with you at bad blood, Randy. Oh. Bro, 
I'm ending this inside Hell in a Cell to keep your new buddies out. Oh! Then with Cody, and he says, You said open challenge, right? Well, let's go, bro. And just like that, the US title is on the line. It's Cody versus Riddle, and it is on. Riddle oh, is banged shit. up, but he's fighting for his life on the eve of his battle with his former friend. Riddle runs him so close, he nails him with a bro Derek. He's got him. One, One two, two. No. Oh, he kicked out. kicks out. He's struggling, but Riddle is unrelenting. Is this, until the damn mask figure his titties, nigga. Hold on, what the fuck? Hold on, go back, fool. He's struggling, but Riddle is unrelenting. Until <laughs> bro, imagine, hold on, hold on. Again. imagine fighting somebody and they do that shit to you, bro. I would. I will, that would make me even more mad, bro. They slide in the ring oh. and they smash Riddle in the gut right up with a sledgehammer. Ass. Cody is disqualified, but he retains the championship. It's a close call, but we find out yeah. finally who's under the mask. Wait, 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 for like for disqualification rules, the person who gets hit, I thought they win. So Riddle should have got the title, right? They must have changed some shit. I don't know. They slide in the ring and they smash Riddle in the gut with a sledgehammer. Cody is disqualified, but he retains the championship. It's a close call, but we find out finally who's under the mask. Who's under the mask? Who's the masked woman? Charlotte Flair. But yeah, it makes sense for it to be Charlotte Flair though, cause you know Randy Orton was with Evolution, and he was with uh, Ric Flair, Batista, and Triple H. So it makes sense, right? Yeah. The war is on, and it's total carnage. Rhodes and DBRC are throwing everything at Imperium, and Imperium are throwing it right back. Damn. It gets late in the match, and all teams are exhausted. But Don't shoot the message, but I heard the, ta the ladders are actually made of wood. The tables have turned. It's now Imperium wielding the sledgehammers. But it's then, of course, we see the newest member of Legacy, Charlotte Flair. I and knew yes, it. she is wielding a sledgehammer. Imperium sense the danger and turn around to face her, but that gives Rhodes and DBRC the Damn. opening. They knock the sledgehammers free and they pick them up themselves and they smash them into the midsection again. They set them this up. This is a good story, DBRC I ain't gonna lie. In the million dollar dream, Rhodes hits the crossroads and they yeah. win the match. Charlotte is the difference. And as they walk backstage after the match, Byron Saxon asks Charlotte what the meaning of all this is. And she says very simply, who else? has a stronger lineage than me. Who else literally defines legacy more than the greatest female professional wrestler from the greatest professional wrestling family ever? So that's why, Byron. She said she got like that with her muscle butt ass. Well, let's see how this turned out. Orton has told legacy that he's going to handle business tonight but they all watch on from the back. And Riddle is clearly heartbroken that it's gotten to this point. But if you corner a Viper, they will strike. And that's exactly what Randy Orton does. It's brutal and it's unrelenting. And the match isn't that competitive. Riddle is RKO'd, bloodied and beaten. But Orton goes to the corner and he's gonna do it. He's gonna punt Wait. Riddle. His four so he canceled the pinfall just for the punt. My friend. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Woo! I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Let me do five. Just five. Just five. That's it. Just five. Oh, shit. One. Two. Three, uh, uh, four, uh, uh, five. All right, 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 all right. 
All right, let's, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Damn. Triple H. Oh. Triple H yells at the ring crew and he says, lift the cell. Lift it. Listen to me, Randy. This is going to stop. You say you're doing all this in the name of legacy? Well, tomorrow night, I'm going to do something in the name of evolution. Okay, so he did get the pinfall. He won the match. Okay. Wait. But, uh, what's the name? Theory? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is either. But they beat the shout him backstage though. This is what Triple H was talking about. I don't about. know who that is either. He's and put I together a up. super group wait, wait, of on, the best and brightest young talent. This is. Yeah, 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 the eyes fucked up. You see this shit? what Triple H was talking about. He He's put together a super group of the best and brightest young talent in WWE in the name of Evolution. Austin Theory, Carmelo Hayes, Zion Quinn, and Cora Jade. And Theory yeah, makes the message One loud and clear. He says, we've been handpicked by a man who was the first to believe in us. A man who believes in the evolution of this business. And we will lead that evolution all the way to Survivor Series because sometimes you have to evolve to form a legacy. Mm, that's a bar. That's a bar. But I would love to see them see Legacy and uh, Bloodline go at it. I would love to see that. Oh! Damn, they, they kicking ass backstage. Series but let's see how they do in the ring, though. The matches have been made official. And first up, it's Cora Jade versus Charlotte Flair to set the table. Oh, they're doing one by one by one by one? Why ain't they just... Do a, 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 a four-man tag match. Eight-man, shit, I'm tripping. Eight-man tag team match. Come on, now. Before the massive Survivor Series style six man elimination match between Legacy and Evolution. And Cora Jade takes Charlotte all the way. Even though she's oh, on the side, okay, so it's she them gives first. Everything. And then Triple H the, has the security at ringside three. to attempt to stop six any man. interference from Legacy. And the security do have an impact. Charlotte Flair flings Jade across the floor and she clatters into a security guard. And it stuns her enough that Flair can hit her with a natural selection Damn. on the outside. She rolls in the security ring. guard. She locks in the figure yeah, eight. And Cora Jade can't handle the pain. Oh. She has to tap out. Legacy are on the board. It's a clear experience advantage. And the reason why Flair is the dirtiest player in the game. Legacy has all the momentum going into the massive six-man elimination match. Yeah, game the future versus the present. The battle starts white hot and continues that way all through it's the match. Elimination tag the first too. to go though is Ted DiBiase Jr. Damn. Zion Quinn has okay, extremely off strong, off strong. animal like strength. He simply. Uh, who who y'all got? Who y'all got? Y'all got Legacy Evolution. Who y'all got? WWE game movie type shit, type shit. <laughs> y'all got uh, the, or the new Evolution. Y'all got the new Evolution or Legacy? Who y'all got? I ain't gonna lie. I think it might, Legacy might get this one. Just, 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 just add a little twist to it because you know, it's gonna be a twist. I know, I know, Legacy gonna win. But what if, what if Batista and Ric Flair come out of nowhere? That's gonna be wild as shit. Overpowers DBRC and sends an immediate message to Legacy. But even though DBRC is eliminated, he grabs a sledgehammer from under the ring oh, and he's he so losers, bro. The crowd erupts in booze and DBRC is forced to leave. DBRC just smugly walks off but Randy Orton's gonna pick up the pieces. He slithers over and he lands an RKO on Quinn for the next elimination. It's cunning yet brilliant from Legacy and their experience is on full display. Oh, Orton tags in Rhodes now to go to work on Theory and he does. But while Orton is standing on the apron, he's ripped off it. It's Zion Quinn again. He's recovered and he wants to repay the favor to Legacy. Shit. He wrangles Orton over and he smashes Shows him him? through the announce table and leaves. Oh my god! Yeah. Freddy Orton getting bitched. Fair play. Whoa. And it leaves Rhodes now two on one with Hayes and Theory. 
And Charlotte, who's obviously been watching, bursts through the crowd. She's going to try and help Randy. Oh, come on, bro, you ain't low. Of she can. Cora Jade runs through and wipes her out. They brawl off, back up the ramp, and Rhodes is stranded. And A Town down into a nothing but net. A brutal combination Damn. from Hayes and Theory. Hayes gets the pin, and Rhodes is gone. Unbelievable. But Orton has just recovered. He slides into the ring. Theory Damn. sees him. A Town down to Randy Orton. Theory scurries out of the ring because he knows what's next. But I can't even RKO. Out of nowhere. <laughs> That nigga, that shit always hit out of nowhere, bruh. Out of nowhere. I'm telling you. By an RKO. Orton quickly slithers into the pin. And it's really? down to two. And it's almost like Orton oh, shit. is looking at himself in the mirror. A hungry young theory across the ring from him. In essence, it's Orton's own it, leg. They say, oh, uh, they say theory might be the new John Cena. I don't know. I got to see. Like I said, I don't watch wrestling anymore. I got to tune in. Should I tune in? Yeah. See, staring know. back at him. Theory rushes in. Orton tries for an RKO. But oh. Theory counters. And Theory oh. goes to the corner. And he gives Orton the infamous thumbs down. Uh -oh. And he lines him up. He's going to try and punt him. But Riddle runs out. And he's telling Theory to stop. He says, no, 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 no. Stop. Don't punt him, bro. Don't do it. Huh? That's his legacy. You make your own. Finish him oh, with shit. your move, bro. Oh, shit. W motivation. Theory picks him up, lands A Town down, and he pins Randy Orton. He wins it for his team, oh, he and he proves it. that sometimes you need to evolve to truly create a legacy. Damn. That's a good story. That was a great storyline. Good shit. This shit, Murphs. What if you were a global energy company with customers Wait, what, what if that shit actually systems, happens, though, bro? He, that, man that man needs to write the script. That man needs to write the script, bro. I could actually see that happening for real. Yo. Man, that was some good shit. That made, that made me want to buy a WWE now. For real, though. Platform. Now data is available.